Yesterday's price is not today's price. 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 Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. This is the Maverick Podcast. I'm your host, DJ Maverick. Today, we have a returning champ in the building, the one and only Jose Scott. Welcome Ooh, to the pod. What up, man? What, what up? We were just talking. It doesn't seem like it's been that long, but man, a lot has it, happened. It's been very eventful, for yeah, sure. I yeah. think uh, the last time we talked was like uh, last year in April. That's crazy. Man, <laughs> it, uh, my life has been like... Just roller, roller coasters, coaster. man. Yeah. Just a lot of stuff going on and trying to um trying to like maintain it, like not to kind of go overboard with it and sure. You know what I mean? That's always like the struggle, right? Because you want to create, you want right. to do stuff every day, and then sometimes you, you could overdo it, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. No, that, that, that's the that's the that's the thing. I was like, man, I don't wanna set my expectations to this right and then once that stops happening then yeah. I, I i go back to to normal yeah and then um then i'm like man i what's going on you know uh, right i'm hitting the slump maybe it's it was a fluke yeah, you know? yeah. i was just listening to a podcast with uh jelly roll Do you yeah. know who jelly yeah, roll is yeah, yeah, yeah. and he was talking about the same thing he was like i can't believe that it's happening mm -hmm. and i'm afraid that i'm gonna lose it again yeah so he was talking about that and it's just like I don't know. You enjoy well, the ride, right? Right. Like just so, keep being uh, creative. I was, uh, I listened to it, man. I listened to a bunch of podcasts. That's why I love to do this stuff. Yeah. But um, I was listening to this podcast and it was with uh, Theo Vaughn. Okay. Theo Vaughn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny enough to, to hear this type of stuff from Theo Vaughn, but right. like very serious. He was like, uh, man, just ride the ride. Like take it day by day, ride yeah. it. Don't, don't really pay attention to what's going to happen next. Yeah. Just, just go with it. Go with it. And then, you'll figure it out you always figure it out right and i was he, like man that's that's he was saying like i'll do the hour on stage for free yeah. you're just paying me for like the time the preparation for that moment mm -hmm. but when i'm on stage i'm performing for free right and i kind of like that metaphor it's that's, like that's when he's doing what he loves you're just paying for all the other stuff right like all the people all the road crew mm -hmm. to make it happen right like the people that have to do all this the behind the scenes stuff yeah right? and, and it goes yeah. the same with uh doing murals honestly yeah. it's all in preparation and then once you get there, you already know what you're gonna do. Right. You yeah. you you just need to do it. That's, that's all. That's a great segue because I remember when you were here last time, we were talking about you getting in trouble for doing the graffiti <laughs> stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, you're doing graffiti workshops, dude. Would you have ever thought like I'm gonna be giving workshops on how to do graffiti, right? Man, um, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Um, I uh, I didn't I didn't I don't I didn't want to do it. No. Why? <laughs> no, no, no. But yeah. um. My friend, I, I, I hang out with a lot uh, with my buddy Jay. His yep. name's uh, Don Jay on, on Instagram. But okay. uh, me and him talk back and forth about uh, like this art world, you know, uh, venturing off into doing new things, not being uh, like complacent, complacent, right? not yeah. being complacent. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just trying new things just to, just to try it out. Don't, sure. don't like if you're fell, if you fell, it's cool. Go yeah. ahead. Get back up. Do something mm. else. So, um like I said, like you said, man, doing graffiti workshops, that's insane. But I just remember like you like telling me when you were a kid and you were in trouble yeah. doing that stuff. You're kind of hiding, doing that, man. you know, and now you're doing like an official <laughs> workshop. People were signing up, paying you man, yeah. to like learn how to yeah, graffiti, so right? Back, back in the day, um, I, I was always looked at as like uh, just like, a, you know, a, a hooligan. <laughs> like what do you like? Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, every time I would go to class, you know, I'm always sketching in my book, you know. Mm. And everybody would tell me, like, that's not going to get you anywhere. Right. That's not going to get you yeah. anywhere. And then all of a sudden, now I'm doing graffiti workshops. The teacher, the, well, these weren't the teachers that was telling me what, that I wasn't going to go anywhere. Yeah. They were the ones that were actually encouraging me with the same teachers that came and no took way. my workshop. You yeah, yeah. had teachers attend yeah. your workshop? Yeah, yeah, my old, my wow. old teachers. Yeah, That's yeah. like full circle. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. Yeah. I, I posted on my Instagram. It was pretty funny. Yeah. Did you take a picture with them? Yeah. Like, hey, yeah, look, yeah, look yeah. at us now? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. What did they say? Did they give you any feedback? Did they say, hey, yeah. I'm sorry for not believing in your no, dream? No, no, no. Like they they were the ones that believed in it. They were okay. just like, go go, do what you got to do. Yeah. You know, as long as you don't get in trouble, do what you got to do. Yeah. But, um, they uh they they did give me some feedback like i'm not used to um the like teaching aspect right and they're like hey maybe you should do this different maybe you should 
you know, get up and present better or whatever. Yeah. But it's all in good faith, right? Yeah. They weren't like, you're doing it bad or anything. <laughs> yeah. So who, who like brought that idea to you or was that your own idea? No. And you're like, hey, I'm going to do a workshop. It, it was uh, Jay. Okay. It was Jay. He was like, um, one one way to to give back to the to like the the people that believe in you mm-hmm. is to basically teach them yeah what you know That's awesome. and i was like man i was like i'm not that guy like yeah. i'm from the south side of oklahoma city like i don't like I, i'm trying to stay away from the right from the people <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um at the time i was just like man let me just let me just try it i did um mm-hmm. this lady reached out to me to do it for her for her birthday okay. just like a kind of like a private session with her and her friends and that's cool uh her family or yeah and um I was like, man, let me just try it. I'll figure it out. So we do it. I actually liked it. Yeah? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> That's man. That's awesome. Did so, you like put like a sort of a theme behind it? Mm-hmm. Or like what were the guidelines? Like what, what were you going to do as far as their like artwork? What was it? Like, is it structured or what? It was the only thing that I did was uh, set up the the letters for them. Okay. Everything else was totally up to them because mm-hmm. I wanted it to be exactly how I was younger looking at these letters bare and being able to color them in, do a background, basically making it their own. Okay. And that's exactly what they did. Cool. So they had like uh like stencils for graffiti letters or you just freehanded I, the letters? I did, I did it. Yeah. Okay. Freehanded that's it. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 Man, I saw that and I was like, that's, that's pretty amazing. I just kind of laughed. Like, you know, he was telling me like he's getting in trouble as a kid and here he is like leading a class of like how to do graffiti. Know, it's it's yeah. very ironic. It's very yeah. ironic. That's cool. But I think one of the things about you, you know, to, to sort of like give you your flowers while you're here back is like, I see that you're adapting to, to new technology, oh, yeah. trying new stuff, right? Like last time you were talking about the NFT project, right? That you yeah. were doing and stuff like that. So what, what do you think is driving that? Like, just like, you're just curious or you just like no, want to try new stuff? No, man. I think, um, in, in this, in this, uh, world nowadays, uh, being able to adapt is a very key aspect of doing anything, right. not, not, not only as an artist, but as, you know, just as a human being, right. like being able to adapt is, is, is key. And, um, be also not being afraid to, to fail. I, I got very comfortable with failing and then I actually mess around and succeeded. Oh, and I yeah. was like, Oh wait, what? <laughs> yeah. I think so. If you ask me, I think all the lessons learned come from your failures. Oh yeah. Right. Because Absolutely. the success is just like the byproduct of all those failures. And then it just happens. Yeah. Right. I don't Absolutely. know if you really learn anything from the actual success. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So that, that's, yeah. uh, that's definitely it. Um, learning from your from your failures is definitely what you what's gonna help you in the long run honestly yeah that's awesome it's gonna teach you what not to do right right yeah, and yeah. i also saw that you uh went down to new york city yeah did a mural there that was like one of like your bucket list right man it yeah. was uh man it was a dream come true honestly awesome. i uh i grew up uh you know watching movies uh wild style mm-hmm. you know like all these all these movies of graffiti and they all start off in either Philadelphia yeah. or New York or California. Always like the subway. Always the subways. Right? Always yeah. that. And um, we actually went out there for, um, it was me and Jay. We went out there for the NFT conference. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. NFT NYC. Nice. So while we were there, um, a lot of people saw that we were there. And they're like, hey, uh, since you're here, we would love to put you up in Amazing. In a in yeah. a hotel for an extra couple of days, would pay for the pay, would pay for you to do it. Yeah, come come and do some stuff. Wow, that's yeah, really yeah. cool. And so, what like what building or like where did you so, actually do it? So it was in Brooklyn. Okay, uh, it's called the Art Hotel. Okay, it's, it's like art and hotel at the same. Oh, I see. I yeah, see. yeah, and they have like different hotels within Brooklyn, like in mm-hmm. Manhattan, in like the Bronx, and I think in there's a bunch in Brooklyn. Okay, but um. While I was there, uh, while we were out there, one of my friends saw that we were out there. He got us hooked up with the art hotel, and he was like, "Go do it. You need to do it." Like, yeah. And I was like, "Man, I'm not even prepared. Like, <laughs> I don't." And that's yeah. the thing with with this art stuff is, 
stuff's going to happen like that and right. you have to be prepared. What's the quote? If you stay prepared, you don't have to yeah, get prepared. I always right? tell people that it's like, <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't, uh, I stay ready. So I don't have to get ready. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So what do they say? They just freestyle yeah, or did they tell you what they wanted or what? No, they were yeah. like, uh, so this is an art hotel. We, we encourage artists to do whatever they want. Okay. So they gave me in the, in the picture on my, on my, uh, Instagram, you could see it's uh it's kind of like a hall, like a dining hall. Right. So that wall that we did the mural on, that was actually the entrance to the kitchen. Oh, okay. So uh, I was like, man, I want to do my cactuses because uh, I, I really love these cactuses that I'm doing. Yeah. And but I was like, man, I really wanted to tie it into the to the like dining right. hall. Are field. those the ones on the Taco Bell box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I so, saw those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I have those cactuses just kind of like on top of each other, and mm. one of them's holding like a knife and a fork, and then on the other side, That's it's awesome. it's like um, they're the chefs, so they have the hats. Okay, they have like the the aprons on and stuff. So. Yeah. That's yeah. really cool. When I saw that, I was like, man, that's that has to be like a huge accomplishment, especially if it was like on your bucket list. It was like, that's that's amazing. I think right? that was on like top five. Yeah. man. <laughs> what about this NFT conference? Like, what was that like? Did you like, take any anything out of that or what? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So um, we me and Jay were like heavily into like the NFT world. What's next? What, mm. what can we do? Adapting. Right. Yep. And um, we saw that NFT NYC was going on. I've always wanted to go to New York. Mm -hmm. So we said, screw it. We're going to spend our own money. We're going to go out there. First time in New York? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to take a risk. Mm -hmm. We're going to see what happens. And I paid for the flight. I paid for like our food and stuff to get out there. I think I was down to my like last hundred bucks. (laughs) And then that mural happened. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then then you were able to get more funds. Yeah. 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 And then uh, we... um, we got to do so i hold a bunch of like nfts and stuff so yeah. i hold one of the chichin chong nfts okay and we'll, and the people that run the chichin chong nft stuff mm-hmm. i know them from like past stuff so um they invited us out to like a private event no way yeah and they okay. were like hey if you hold an nft you can come in and i was like well i hold the nft but mm-hmm. jay doesn't it's yeah. like, is there any way we can, you know? <laughs> yeah. And they were like, yeah, we trust you. And like all the other people knew Jay. So okay. like everybody knew Jay. So they were like, ah, well, you know, whatever. Yeah. You How know? did they uh, verify? Did they make you like pull up yeah. your open C or something? No, no, no. So they have, um, man, it was, I forgot what the app was called, but it's like an encrypted thing. It was yeah. like, a, it was a QR code that changed every minute. No way. And you had okay. to have that QR code. And if you didn't, then. You can't get cool. in, yeah. but if you hold uh, a Chi Jin Chong NFT, mm. you get that QR code. So I had okay. it in my wallet already. Oh, so you already had so, it. So yeah, okay. so all I had to do was just like yeah. hold it up. That's awesome. Yeah, it was man, it was crazy. It was a crazy experience because um, that party was like in a alley in the back. It was man, it was. It was super, like outdoors or what? No, no, no. It yeah. was like uh, you had to go through like a hallway. Yeah. Down the stairs, pitch black. We don't know where we're going. <laughs> Amazing. Man, yeah. yeah, it was cool. It was yeah. like very New York vibe. Yeah. And then we got down the stairs and then we see all of the people that we knew and everybody was just smoking, yeah, drinking. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it was so, Cheech and Chong. Yeah. So they had, uh, the scary thing that scared me was they had THC infused food and drinks. No way. And I was <laughs> and, like. And was it labeled or is it just like, no? no? It wasn't okay. labeled. They were yeah. just like, yeah. That could every, be risky. They were like, yeah. everything's, you know, this yeah. is this half is THC, this half is non. Yeah. But it was like touching. So I was like, there's no way. Somebody <laughs> grabbed it and put some over here. Right. I was like, and I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't really do that kind of stuff. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to risk yeah. it. And then I, there was like a bartender and I was like, hey, can you just make me like a water? <laughs> like no THC, <laughs> yeah. no nothing. Nice. Just give me a water. <laughs> yeah. So what happens at an NFT party? Because I've never been. So is it DJ, food? Yeah. Like what, what's, what's It was going down? basically everybody. It was just, you know what? Honestly, it was just like a, like a, a like meeting people, like connecting. Yeah. Okay. Like a. It's like networking. Networking event. event. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. exactly what it was. Everybody just like, hey, what do you do? What do you do? What are you here for? And mm-hmm. uh, that, that night is when I, well, I want to say like two hours before we went to the to the event, I found out that I got the mural. So <clears throat> while I was there, I was like, like "Yeah, oh, I got by a, the way. yeah, I got a mural <laughs> in the morning or whatever." I was like, 
I guess I got to go and yeah. get ready for that. <laughs> That's awesome. Just like so, brushing it off. Like you, uh, you met like a lot of cool people, I'm assuming. Oh, like, yeah. Lots of connections. And then that's probably going to lead to other projects. Like oh, that, yeah. Right? I got I got to meet the guy that runs the the Chichen Chong NFT project. Nice. Um, I, you know, hon honestly, it was mostly just artists that were there. So mm -hmm. like uh, a lot of them do a lot of stuff for Complex Con. And man, it was just that's cool. It was crazy. And yeah. I was just like. Hey, yeah, you know, if y'all follow me on Instagram, you know, we can yeah. stay connected. <laughs> That's and, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, so, congrats on that. That sounds like a super fun event. Man. And it sounds like one thing leads to another. And it's like, you know, it, it all happens, right? Magic, right? Man, it, it's, it was literally right place at the right time. Yeah. And but being prepared. Being stay, prepared. Stay ready. Exactly. Right. Also being yeah. prepared because the um, that mural that we did, it was like a 30-foot high ceiling. No way. Yeah, so... Wow. Uh, we got, they said they had a lift, but mm. the lift was dead. So we so had to, do? we had to wing it. Really? Okay. Yeah. I mean, dude, we had to stay you're ready. Like, you're like, I, I'm already here. We're going to yeah. make it happen. I right? was like, man, yeah. there's no way I am leaving New York city right. and I have this opportunity and I'm not capitalizing on it. I don't care yeah. what's happening. <laughs> I'm doing it. Yeah. That's awesome. So important question. Did you try New York city pizza? Yeah. What, where'd you go? Yeah. I, uh, so, um, we were in Lower Manhattan, mm -hmm. and we were walking around at like three o'clock in the morning, and the only place that was open was this pizza spot, and it was a dollar pizzas. Really? Yeah. You still found a dollar slice, dude. I thought those were all gone. Dude, I was yeah. I was like the holy grail. Yeah. <laughs> it was like the only thing that had the lights on, and it was just like oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> What'd you think? It was you're, good. You're a fan. Um, yeah. Are you more Chicago style? Ah. Uh, I think there there's be definitely better pizza in New York, but at that time I was like, this is kind of like Empire Slice or yeah, something. It's like a dollar. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like, well, the taste was like Empire. Yeah. Like it yeah. tasted good, but it's like, oh, it's a dollar. <laughs> yeah, I was That's like, awesome. I was like, give me like five of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's cool. It's like pizza for everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> pizza on me, right? <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. cool. What else did you do while while in New York? Were you just there like during the week, or is it a weekend? It was it was a whole week. A whole week. Yeah, we were okay. there from like. Monday through like a Sunday type deal. Yeah. So yeah, um, we rode. We never took like a rental car or like a taxi or anything. Mm -hmm. All subway. That's so awesome. we got the full subway experiences, yeah. the bad and the good. <laughs> Mostly <laughs> the, bad. Yeah. The thing about me, like when I when I went, is like people don't look at each other in, no. in the eyes like you do here in Oklahoma. Yeah. Everybody's pretending to read something or your phone, like. Did you experience some of that? Like, oh, man. Like, just the, the social norms are way different, I man, think. Man, right? the, the one thing that I noticed in New York was um, you definitely feel alone mm -hmm. in, a, in a sea of people. Yeah, that's which a great is, way to describe it. Which is crazy, because, yeah. like, as you're walking, you see people walking around, but everybody's just, like, in their own yeah. world. They have, like, shields yeah. up. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Everybody's, like, seems like they're in a rush. Like, mm -hmm. where's everybody going? Right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's just, like, in a rush. Yeah. Yeah. I remember uh, holding the subway for a lady, and I, and she, like, runs in as it was, like, shutting, and I was, like, holding it, mm -hmm. and she just runs in and just, like, sits down, puts her thing on, and I was, like, you're, you're like, welcome. <laughs> yeah. She's probably, like, you're not from around here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She was, like, yeah. yeah, this guy doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. No, I think that's awesome. I'm, I'm I'm super excited that you got to do that, man. But the whole NFT thing, it seems like it's cooling down a little bit. And I don't know if that's just because like you know, the economy stuff like that. But what are your thoughts on that? It seems uh, like a lot of people aren't buying as much as they they were before. I think uh, it was a fad, like in the beginning, definitely, yeah. definitely a fad, just like anything else, right? Yeah. There's always like the hype, and then it'll go back down. But yeah. it was all it would always it's gonna go back up for sure. Right. I I think. Um, just just like anything else it's it's going to be good just because the technology behind it, it it's definitely going to sustain for sure i don't know if it's going to be in nfts but it might be in like clothing or you know definitely in like different softwares and yeah. stuff well, uh, i think what you describe is a great use case right because this is like your pass for an event Mm -hmm. And that's what I always tell people is like, I think anything that's a ticket in the future yep. is going to be an NFT, right? Like I think it Super should Bowl be. ticket or whatever. And it's exclusive. And mm -hmm. it's like, I don't know, it's like VIP. It's like you yep. got the NFT. I think that's super cool. Yeah. I, I think what people don't like about it is that it's on your phone yeah. and like you have to show somebody to, you know, sure. that's what I would always get is like, why would I buy this? Like all I have, 
like the only way I would show it off is like if I post it on Instagram or if I show somebody. Yeah. I'm like, well, the the meaning behind it is that you own it. Nobody else can right. own it. Right. Like the 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 coding behind it means nobody can fabricate it. Yeah, it's nobody, verified. Yeah, yeah, nobody can duplicate it. That's yours. Yeah. But and, I, I think even artists like Beeple, they do like the NFT and then you can also get the physical. Yeah. That kind of goes together with the NFT. Right? Sometimes sometimes uh I think people did it or uh, there's a bunch of artists that has done this where you can either get the physical or the NFT. Okay. And some people will keep the NFT and, and not so, take the physical. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. it's called burning tokens. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you know, for sure. they would either burn the token to get the physical yeah. or I think he would either trash it and you keep the NFT, okay. which is wild, right? Yeah. Yeah. So did you learn anything new out of the NFT conference or was it more networking? Uh, it was definitely more networking. I, I mean... Um, not to say that I know everything about NFTs, but yeah. I know what I basically need to know. And if anything else comes out, I definitely learn from it. Yeah. But also uh, learning that uh, community, yeah. community is basically everything with NFTs, like with artists, NFTs. I don't know about, you know, as like tickets and stuff, but right. as an artist, um, creating that community is definitely where it's at yeah that's cool the other thing i saw which i think is really cool is like you have a favorite podcast yeah and then somehow magically your artwork is now on the podcast man it's called bad friends right yeah so bad friends is a, a podcast with uh bobby lee and andrew santino and mm -hmm. man i i love watching podcasts i i listen to a bunch i listen to yours yeah i listen awesome. to Thank bad you. friends no yeah for sure <laughs> shout out to you and all my tias yeah. for, for watching my podcast <laughs> <laughs> no yeah uh, i recently just watched your ones with your brother oh uh, did you yeah, yeah yeah um so i watched those so uh bad friends i've reached out to him and i was like hey you know uh i'm an artist you know i do this kind of stuff and yeah whatever and they're like, oh, that's cool. You know, I sent them the design. So everything that I do, I do on iPad before I do as a physical. Okay. So I'll like sketch it out and then. How did you even get them to notice? Because if they don't follow you back, it goes to like that other folder yeah. on IG. Right? So I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you my. <laughs> you got uh, the secret sauce. I'm gonna tell you my tricks, man. <laughs> All right, let's uh, hear it. I don't follow. Well, I do follow the main ones, uh -huh. but I find their producers. Oh, okay. And there I follow go. them, and yeah. I send it to them because they're the ones that are. We're actually running actually the show. Actually running everything. Yeah. Okay. And um, I was like, hey, uh, um, his name's Andres. And mm -hmm. I was like, hey, Andres, you know, love the, love the podcast. Yeah. Like, And he followed you back. Oh, I don't know if he followed. I don't remember if he followed me back, but he messaged me back. Okay. And he sent me their address. And he was like, we would love to have your artwork on our show. Yeah. We would love to put it as uh, like on our background and stuff. And I was like, cool. Um, I don't know if I want to send it. <laughs> why <laughs> I, I, just because like i knew in the mail is either going to get damaged or oh, okay. whatever so i was like Man, i'll just hold off and come to find out they were doing a tour like a podcast tour mm -hmm. and they came to oklahoma city no way yeah okay. so i was like man this is my opportunity yeah uh i was like man i need it i need to talk to them like i need to get this to them mm -hmm. so um i met them i showed them uh the the canvas and they freaked out yeah yeah okay. they're like what like what like because i guess they didn't see it the producer saw it. Got it so when they first saw it they were like freaking out yeah. i made like a custom jacket uh because i do fashion stuff as well okay so i do i did a custom jacket for bobby lee because he's my favorite okay bobby yeah because you're like the biggest fan right yeah, like, yeah you're yeah. always checking them out Man. and stuff so i watch them really every cool. every week yeah so shout um, out to them yeah shout out to mm -hmm. them for sure um and that's kind of the reason uh, while I'm doing my podcast, yeah. so, uh, you and them and other people, honestly. Yeah. I don't I, know if I would put myself in that no, category with those guys, right? No, I, hey, I, I, I appreciate would. it. No, right? no, no, absolutely. Yeah. I would because the, 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 I don't know, the courage to do it. Yeah. Man. Yeah. That's, it, it takes another level, man. <laughs> yeah. And especially putting the money into it. That's, that's another thing yeah. people don't talk about is like actually putting the resources behind it and, having that mentality of actually doing it right. right so i think the the more difficult part is just keeping your head down mm -hmm. and just continue to do it mm -hmm. while people don't really believe in you oh journey. yeah that's like probably the hardest part for the, me right like yeah. i can spend money like I mean, mm -hmm. i'm just like financially irresponsible that's not yeah, a problem yeah. <laughs> yeah no i i think i learned that early on because yeah. when i was doing my uh, graffiti stuff obviously everybody yeah. was telling me don't do it right 
Uh, like it's it's gonna be like the whole starving artist thing, right? right. Like it, it can't pay for your for right. your living, right? My now. my dad was like, man, just do go do welding, go yeah. do like yeah. you know typical Hispanic stuff, right. just like go go work on cars, go. And for yeah. a while, I was working on cars, but. I really didn't love it. Um, I also think that's because they grew up in a different era, right? So they, yeah. they just want the best for you. Absolutely. They're not used to this new modern economy. Absolutely. And like where people can create their own basically company, right? Yeah. Like it's, it's it's different. Yeah. Right? They, uh, my dad is, I, well, I don't know how to say, I think it's first generation. Yeah. Because my dad came from Mexico. Okay. So having that idea of <laughs> risking your life. Yeah. Coming sure. across the border you know, spending days in the desert, yeah. right? Uh, basically risking everything. Just, I, just, I always think about just imagine like coming to a new country, man. not knowing anybody, probably not knowing the, the even like the language, right? Man, yeah. And yeah. then also having no money, yeah. right? So you have no idea what you're going to do. It's crazy. And then to come to find out the your firstborn child, like yeah. your firstborn kids are just doing art. Yeah. Like what? Yeah, I'm sure he's like, probably likes the whole like guaranteed paycheck at the oh, end of the week, right? Like, that's nice. You know, it's coming every week guaranteed, yeah, right? Yeah. When you're an artist, like that paycheck's not guaranteed, right? Oh, no, yeah. absolutely not. Um, and he was just like, uh, he's like, man, like, I remember when I came here and I had to like go from job to job, you know, figuring out, I didn't even know when my next meal was going to be. Yeah. And I was like, I'm over here like, yeah, screw this company because they don't want to pay me or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's, But I think the, the, the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. Absolutely. Right? Like absolutely. all the opportunities, you, you worked with the Thunder. Yeah. You work with the, the podcast. You have a mirror in NYC. Just think about all the huge accomplishments yeah. that you've been able to do, right? Yeah. yeah. And and that's kind of what I've been telling my dad is like, I, I'm doing this for, for a bigger reason, right? Yeah. Um, if I fail, it's all on me. It's not going to be on you. Mm. It's not going to be on my brothers. It's not going to be on my sisters, not on my mom. It's going to be on me. And I'm willing to take that, yeah. that risk. That's cool that the podcast actually took your work and they put it on the set Man. too, right? Because I'm sure that probably like fans give them stuff left and right. Oh yeah. They probably take it, but not all that stuff makes it to the actual set. Right. right? So the, yeah. I didn't even know. So obviously, you know, people say stuff yeah. and, yeah. you know. But they were like, yeah, we'll put it up. And I was like, okay. And then I, the next couple episodes, I finally see it. And I was like, what? You're freaking out? <laughs> I was like, what's going on? I get to see my artwork while I'm watching. So, your favorite podcast. Yeah. Like, that's I'm amazing. Like, yeah. It was, it was unbelievable. It was honestly like um, pretty, pretty dope. I was pretty yeah. insane. Cool. Tell me about Edencia because that's another project. That I think it's going to have huge potential. Yeah. It's like something you started, right? Yeah. Well, um, it was it was started by me, Natalie, and, and Sharik. But, um, cool. Shout for, out to Natalie. Yeah, she's, shout she's out to like, Natalie. She's been on the podcast. Yeah. yeah so, man, so, she, they, cool. man, all, man, both of those girls are unbelievable. Yeah. Man, it's it's. She it, told me she grew up with you and that you were a troublemaker. FYI, yeah. so. <laughs> not watched, to spill I, the tea, but <laughs> I, I watched that podcast. Yeah, Trust me, I know. <laughs> no, no, um, no. I, the the beginning of this um, this art show um, was um, I, I seen in the south. Like growing up, uh, I was always in graffiti and you know never being accepted yeah. for my artwork because graffiti is not artwork well right. that's what people would say that's what people say right and um i was like you know what man I, I after going through all this stuff that i've been through already i'm like man you you can't you can't wait for something to happen you have to do it yourself right so uh last year um in october i had the opportunity to do a hispanic art show in the plaza walls and uh thankfully the plaza walls was like we believe in you. Awesome. You also did some Dia de los Muertos stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. they, yeah, they were like, uh, "We believe in you. Do, do, do what you think, and we're behind you 100." percent Awesome. And I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna do it. I did it. Reached out to all my art friends, and it was pretty successful. Honestly, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't think it was gonna get that far. And then this coming year, in like the beginning of the year, we started. I was like, man. I want to do it again, but I want to do it bigger. Yeah. I was like, that last year was... It kind was, of formalized it, It was right? cool. It was cool, but this was the... Yeah. That was the introduction. Right. Now let's show them what really the the Latino community can yeah, do. Yeah, that's and, awesome. And um, 
I got I got together with uh, Natalie and Shriek, and I was like, man, you are the two dopest person, like yeah. the most go getters I've ever met. Like I want to do this with y'all. Yeah, I like the name. So tell me the the meaning behind Herencia and why why do you guys go with that? So actually, Herencia is uh, it was Natalie's and Shriek's. Okay. They uh, they wanted to make a clothing brand, which mm. is what I'm wearing. Yeah, I like it. And um, it's their artwork kind of mashed together and as we were uh, talking about names and like stuff that we wanted to basically call it i was like man what about just calling it herencia like heritage yeah. like that's what we're standing for that's what we're right that's what we're basically representing is and our that's the purpose what you want to leave behind right, right? like that herencia. yeah right? yeah, like yeah. That. so yeah. i was like why don't we just do that and they're like we love it and i was like that's that's y'all's credit. That's not yeah. mine. Awesome. Like I, I just I'm grateful that they were like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So it was definitely theirs. But we uh, we came together and we're gonna come up with new merch for sure. That's cool. So how are you how are you getting artists or is it already filled <clears throat> up or yeah. what's have, the process? We have twenty artists. Twenty artists already yeah. signed up. Yeah. Okay. So so most I would say actually not most, but I would say it's like an even split of like people that we know and then people that we don't know okay. because i definitely wanted it to be like a platform for artists that that hasn't had that recognition yeah to be able to be recognized right and i'm sure if you think about like you as a kid right. how cool would it have been to have like an actual place to like display your yeah. art right yeah, yeah yeah i i never had that so I, I definitely wanted to give that to the people yeah that that deserve it for sure and um we we did that with people that we we didn't even know. I was like, you know what? I love your artwork. Let's try it. That's awesome. and, so you were reaching out to artists, yeah. not the other way around. No, no, I was. Yeah, okay. yeah. We, uh, I think next year we're going to do like a call to artists because we realized there's a lot of people that we didn't know that wanted to be in it. Okay. So. Cool. Um, I kind of like the scouting aspect though. Like, yeah. like the whole, if, you, if you're ready, like stay ready, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if, you see, if you're doing something cool, you're going to be noticed. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And, and um, actually Natalie came up with this dope idea to have high school students okay so uh natalie was like super connected with the uh, u.s grant like the art teacher mm -hmm. and she uh i guess she went and talked to them and she found two artists that were like willing to do it so we have two high school students that are going to be very cool yeah. yeah that's cool so when is it going down where is it going down how can yeah. people check it out so uh it's going to be september 8th at the plaza walls um we're going to have lowriders we're going to have everything, man. I'm going to be painting Food. a mural. Everything, yeah. man. Everything. Drinks. Yeah. We're going to we're gonna have it all, man. It's going to cool. be definitely uh, a Herencia event. Yeah. That's amazing. I really like it. I like the the whole meaning behind it. And I think it's just going to like continue to grow. Yeah, man. Um, this is definitely the beginning of something that we we want to leave behind for sure for the, for, the, for the next generation for sure. Yeah. Because like I said, back in the day... We have we have we didn't have any representation, right? So um, I was like, why not now? Why not me? Why not? You know, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna wait for somebody else to do it. Let me just do it, right? Yeah. So yeah, I was like, you know, what? let's just do it. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Is the merch drop gonna be exclusive? Like, if you go there, that's the only way to get it, or what? Man, I don't know. We haven't really <laughs> we haven't really laid out the the details, but yeah. we got the design. We got what we were what what type of material we're gonna put it on. We just don't know. Uh, we're going to do pre-orders for sure. Okay. So I think we might just post it on social media and do like a pre-order. Um, but it's basically just like, um, it's going to say, para la cultura. Yeah. Like for, for the culture, basically. For the culture, yeah. And, and then it's it's going to have a crazy design. I'll, I'll let the people speculate what nice. it's going to be, but just kind of give you a little taste. That's yeah. that's what it's going to say. Well, I'm asking if it's going to be exclusive because I don't know if you listen to Tool, but Tool... Like you can go buy their merch like at a store, like Hot Topic right. or whatever. But if yeah. you actually go to like a concert they have on the sleeve, it has like the little red icon. Right. And you can tell like who's been to the event or not. Right? I, I think I think we might do something like that. Um, I wanted to do some uh, barbed wire around okay. the, the sleeve. Yeah. So I think that um, if you do the pre-order, we'll do that. That would be cool. And then if we do like a, like a run of like 20 shirts that weren't on the preset we won't have yeah. those barbed wires or something okay that would yeah, be cool yeah. kind of like a little vip right yeah i like that like add some little exclusive drop That'd yeah be yeah, sweet. yeah just yeah. to kind of hype it up <laughs> yeah i will say i am disappointed because 
you were telling me you just now listen to Nas. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is up with that? Yeah. Where have you been? How did Man. that happen? Was it like New York? Is that what got you into Nas well, or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um, I think when I was younger, I, I I hung out with a lot of like my cousins and kind of like the cholo culture. Mm -hmm. It was not really like. A, so you're listening to like Kid Frost or something? I was listening to more of like Mr. Capone or okay. like. Little quit there, like yeah. you know, like who's the the summer days guy? What's his little name? Little Rob, little Rob. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. like all that kind of like the oldies, yeah, yeah. Like Hello Baby, all that okay. stuff. Like yeah. I was listening to that yeah, stuff, yeah, and then yeah. also like whatever was new in the time that I was younger. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I wasn't really looking. I mean, obviously, I would listen to stuff that was on like movies and stuff, but yeah, I was never really paying attention until like now. I listen to a lot of like Logic. And okay. Logic does. I don't know if you know who Logic. Oh, is. Oh yeah, absolutely. But he, he does. He's, he's another guy that's like super hands on. Yeah. He likes does all his merch independent. Yeah. Like he's like yeah, yeah. all about the business. So so Logic does a lot of collaborations with like Wu Tang, yeah. RZA, like all these people. Like he does a. And I was like, man, like I started listening to Wu Tang, MF Doom. Okay. Like uh, like I told you, like uh, man, just all the, all these dope like old school but it's like you're getting to experience all this kind of old school hip-hop yeah. like i wish i could trade shoes with you and listen Man. to like illmatic yeah for illmatic. the first time ever that would be like amazing. i just like, like i was telling you i just listened to the whole album yeah. like literally two days ago yeah and really yeah cool. it was it was really dope i was like oh this is the hype <laughs> yeah have you compared his new album compared to like illmatic have you done that yet uh yeah, yeah. i um i think it's a. Uh, Oh, like it's different it's crazy yeah. Yeah. i was like man like yeah I, I don't know it's just it's 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 interesting it's for sure interesting i think you can listen and hear the hunger right like the same thing with like 50 cent right. like his first album right you can tell he's like hungry for yeah. it he's like going like against everybody right? which is kind of crazy because yeah. also listening to like the old style like wu-tang yeah. versus like the the new wu-tang that logic you know collaborated with you mm -hmm. could definitely hear the difference like right. it's crazy like you you feel the the um, the urgency of trying to make it yeah like you you, you feel it for sure that's cool so it, it only took you going to new york to like <laughs> okay i guess i'll try this hip-hop thing that's right hilarious. yeah that's no yeah um i had so while we were in new york i was like we were uh couch surfing i guess is what they call it yeah and uh, i have a bunch of friends in new york and one of my friends that that we stayed with in New York, he was like telling me all the like hip hop lore and stuff. Yeah, because I, I mean that's basically like the birthplace of, oh, of yeah. hip hop, right? Well, and yeah, and graffiti. It's like fifty years, it's just celebrating yeah. like hip hop fifty years, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, also um, while we were in New York, like just just all these people that are, I, I finally realized why pe why people go to New York. Yeah, <laughs> it's so easy to bump into the people that you need to bump into. That's true. Because yeah. uh, while we were there, we bumped into a lot of people that yeah. I needed to bump nice. into. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. So are you a believer now that sometimes you have to go to oh, where yeah. stuff is happening? I, I believe it yeah. more than, than ever right yeah. now. Yeah, okay. yeah. You, it, um, everybody, I, I hear people talk about like social media is like um, has changed uh, yeah. like people. But after going to New York, I was like, no, no. it's still the same. <laughs> That's It's funny. just people. It's just there's people that are doing it and then there's people that are not doing it. And the people that are not doing it are more like loud with it. Yeah. So that's yeah. Cool. What about movies? You know, I was talking about uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles yeah. and all the crazy voiceover, right? So we were yeah. talking about amazing like voiceover. So they got Seth Rogen yeah. doing bebop. Like and how cool is that going to be? They got Jackie Chan doing Jackie Splinter. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. John Cena is rock steady. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's crazy. And then they have Ice Cube. Yeah. Superfly. Yeah. Ice Cube. They have all these big names. And Hannibal Burris. Like, man, what, what the, the heck? Yeah. I don't know what their budget was like, but it has to be like crazy. Oh, movie. man. They, dude, they got Chucky Chan and Ice yeah. Cube. Like, what? Yeah. They even have like Maya Rudolph. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, like, man. They got, dude, they got Post Malone. Like, what? <laughs> that's crazy, right? Yeah. No, nah, that's, yeah. that's, that's a high budget movie yeah. for sure. I want to watch it. We'll see. It's like a, it's, I think it's animated in the way kind of like the, the new Spider Man is animated. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen yeah, that. Yeah. I've seen the new yeah. Spider Man for okay. sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it's definitely pretty cool because I grew up 
listening i mean not listening but watching a lot of like cartoons and stuff right so like i think it's definitely dope is it different for you because you're an artist and you could probably see yeah. like how like the sauce is made right? yeah you could probably tell so like, I do, what is that like so i do a lot of graphic design work so i know exactly yeah. how it's made. <laughs> yeah and i just look at it and i'm like man i really hope that's a team because if right. it's one person yeah he needs to be getting paid <laughs> yeah that's what happens to me so whenever i'm listening to music because of my DJ stuff, yeah. like I, I listen to it different. Like I can hear like the bass, yeah. I can hear the drums, I can hear the keyboards, and I can I can hear all that separately. I almost wondered if if I couldn't listen to it, like what would it be like to experience right. music just like oh I like the beat. Like most of my friends are like oh it has a cool beat, and that's like all they describe, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. I mean I think that's how I listen yeah. to music. I'm like yeah this this uh this beat's pretty cool I guess. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I think I heard this on like I Billie always, Jean or something. Like, I can hear like the sample. I can hear like when the bass does something cool. Like, I don't know. I just always can hear each individual instrument. So, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, man. That's, I didn't really think about yeah. it. Like that. I guess that's the same thing with artwork. I'm like, oh, I know how they did that brush stroke. I know. Yeah. I know what paint they're using. I know their technique that they put like gesso on, on the canvas or whatever, you know, right, stuff like that. Right. And then when you see a canvas, you're like, Oh, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The, the, the way that they did Spider-Man and then now the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right. it's different. I don't know if, how you would describe it to me. It's like darker, more mature yeah. animation. I don't know how you would it, describe it. it. I think, um, I think it's more, um, saturated. Okay. Like to, to, to bring like people to, because I feel like nowadays the kids are more used to like high saturation, which is like very bright colors. Right. All the so, Samsung phones. Everybody yeah, had iPhones, right? Yeah, the LED screens and <laughs> yeah. stuff like that. So when they did uh, Spider-Man, I feel like that's like their their thing. They were like, yeah, bright colors. That's true. You I know, didn't think they, about that. It was like bright reds and yeah. all these colors just hitting you, right? So I feel like uh, Ninja Turtles is probably the same way. For I sure. see. It's just like the generation of animation and um graphic design work because back in the day i mean you probably know this the simpson was like bland man yeah it was like a very like bland and, yellow and even like the lines were like <laughs> crooked like oh, it man. wasn't perfect the no, eyes no. sometimes were like you yeah. know off-centered and stuff it's, yeah. it's pretty funny to go watch those old episodes yeah and then yeah. also spongebob was the exact same way yeah uh yeah. also uh snoopy and like the woodstock and all them right like you could see the lines are like very skinny yeah. very like it's rough. Not, not yeah. straight. Like you yeah. could tell that it was done like um very old school way. And then yeah. nowadays it's like very clean, right? Very crisp. Because it's probably all done on a computer. On right? iPad. On yeah, iPad. yeah. Or so, yeah. yeah, some some type of uh tool with yeah. graphic design work or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So what movies have you're a big movie guy, right? So yeah. what movies have you watched recently? Man, man um I, I think recently I just we uh I wanted to go watch Oppenheimer. I haven't yes, watched yeah. it yet. Have you I'm, watched it? I haven't. I was dragged to go watch Barbie. Oh, no way. <laughs> but that's I, a different story. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's funny. I hear a lot of people are watching that. Like, mm. even, like, guys that are, like, single and, like, right. super. I heard Joe Rogan went to go watch oh, it. Oh, really? No yeah. way. Yeah. So, it's interesting. It's not what I expected. It's, I don't know if I should say spoiler alert or not. Yeah. But it's not what you expected. Really? It's actually kind of funny. And they have a lot of musical elements. Oh. So they make fun of like the whole like '90s romantic music and like oh, really? being a guy and all this stuff. Like it's it's kind of funny. Is it's it pretty like comedy driven? Yeah, I would say so. I think there's there's like a message behind. It. I don't want to ruin it. Right, right, right. <laughs> but there's like a message behind it, and I think there's an actual storyline. Super I, satire, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I wasn't ready for that. I thought it was just gonna be like a goofy, like hey, like simple, hmm. like. But there's like a like an undertone and a story behind the whole thing. I'm gonna have to go check it yeah. out, man. Yeah. <laughs> the, the other thing is too is like all the ladies that were there like dressed up, so everybody's right. going dressed up apparently. Huh. Everybody's in pink. Oh yeah, like, I've seen that. Like yeah, ladies' yeah, yeah. night. Like some some of the ladies had bottles, right? Because I went to one of the places where you can get snacks and drinks and That's stuff. That's hilarious. They were like all oh, like party. So man, I, I think the last movie I went to go watch was uh, Spider Man. Okay. Uh, the newer one. Yeah. And when we went. Um, we got the, like the popcorn. They they have like sculptures or like, they're like a special container. Yeah, like a what? special container. Yeah, really? yeah. And okay. uh, we we got the the uh, the black and red Spider Man. 
Okay. And we just put popcorn in it. And nice. We were just eating it. Yeah. I wonder if they're doing that for the, the Ninja Turtles. That would be kind of cool. I'm yeah. definitely going to get All one. the merch. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to yeah. grab one for sure. That's where they're going to get you, though. I can only imagine what popcorn in that special container yeah. costs Ma- at the theater, right? Yeah, right. Uh, I was going to ask you, what, uh, I guess, what would, what would be your, like, if you had like a top three movie list top three what, what would yeah. be your top three so i'm kind of a nerd when it comes to movies i love it i, I like listening to like podcasts and mm-hmm. business and entrepreneurship mm-hmm. and all that right mm-hmm. same so if i had to do that mine are a lot like the wolf of wall street oh man boiler room oh man right stuff like that uh probably in air like recently like i don't know if you watched the air movie which is like the yeah. nike movie. yeah yeah that's like man i love that movie yeah. I, yeah. I watched that one and i was like Dude, it's it's crazy to have that insight because right. I, I, when I was watching it, I was like, man, I, I really want. Bef- well, before my I watched it, my expectation was like, mm-hmm. I really want them to go deep on like everything, like the lure and all. Yeah. And they did. Yeah. I was like, man. The only thing I wondered about is why they didn't get Jordan right. Maybe he didn't want to like be in it, or maybe the money wasn't right. Yeah. But maybe he just didn't want to like be pictured he wants like the younger version to stay yeah. alive forever right? yeah i think i think it was uh money for sure money? Yeah. <laughs> i think it was money for sure yeah. yeah yeah it's just crazy like i like the story and all the like stuff that they did to like bet yeah to make nike happen right because at the time converse was like the biggest thing yeah and i think it was right? adidas too yeah adidas and uh and converse was, yeah. was like the biggest which one. is crazy yeah. if you grew up like you know anytime after that you would just think that Nike has always been killing on top, it, yeah. Right? But it, but it also goes back to what we were saying, like earlier in the podcast, like taking those risks. You have to, yeah. And and in in that movie, it really showcases that. Like, um, I think it was the CEO was just like, "I'm gonna, we'll take the chance, and if we fail, we're gonna we're gonna fall down, right? We're gonna we're gonna go down swinging for sure." Yeah. And I was like, man, that's so cool. Like, that's <laughs> that's the stuff you gotta do, man. Yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of the movies I enjoy, which is probably nerdy, right? Like, I would probably no. put, like, the Facebook movie up there, too. I, I haven't right? watched the Facebook you movie. You watch it. But the Wolf yeah. of Wall Street one is definitely on yeah. my top 10. Boiler sure. Room, I would probably put Boiler Room on top of that. Have you watched really? Boiler Room? No. You need to watch it. For sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's one I got to. I was like, man, yeah. going into this, I was like, man, I'm going to ask you this question. <laughs> you put me on the and, spot. And yeah. I know, I was like, man, I know you're going to have one that I haven't watched yet. So I yeah. know okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch that one for cool. sure. So what's yours? You, I already gave you my list. What's, what's your list? <laughs> I, I kind of cheated. I came in prepared. Nice. I like it. <laughs> but um, no, for sure, my top three is is definitely going to throw you in a loop, for sure. Yeah. So number one is for sure Blood In, Blood Out. Okay. For I sure. mean, I could see that. You yeah. probably like grew up watching it and it reminds you of, of like... the culture that I grew up in, yeah, for sure. I can and see that. I, I, I watched it when I was like nine years old, which is wild, right? It's crazy to watch <laughs> with all the stuff that happens in that movie. So uh, I watched it at my cousin's house and my cousins weren't yeah super like hey maybe you shouldn't watch that they weren't they <laughs> were just, not just like let that. Watch it. they yeah. were like yeah let them figure it out yeah. and um so and my second one is um very artsy it's everything everywhere all at once okay yeah, yeah i like that one too yeah it's yeah. it's so that movie i was hesitant to go watch it because i was like man i'm i'm not gonna like it and yeah. my friend jay was like let's just go watch it let's let's see what happens uh you, you'll never know you might like it now it's in right. my top three yeah and from all the like clips and all the highlights you couldn't really tell what the movie is yeah. about so you actually had to go you watch had it. to go watch it yeah. and and my favorite part i don't know if this is a spoiler or not, <laughs> if they haven't watched it by now that's their part yeah right? yeah but it's the 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 fingers nah, the okay. hot dog fingers yeah, i don't know if yeah, you've yeah, seen yeah. it yeah but yeah i was like man this <laughs> this movie is such a trip man and right. i love it it's kind of like Inter- interstellar and yeah and kind of like limitless and stuff like that where it like throws you in yeah. the loops and i'm like man it really makes you think that's cool i wasn't very, expecting that one on your very, list. very artsy yeah. for sure and then cool. also the the third one is probably gonna throw you in a loop too is uh wizard of oz really yeah like the old school yeah. wizard of oz yeah. why, why wizard of oz yeah i knew you're gonna ask that question <laughs> so it's it's very artsy man it's yeah. um it's a very cool like it really puts it in perspective when you watch it you're like man this is boring yeah. whatever but once you really look into it the movie starts off in black and white and then at the end, it's all color. Yep. And then all these analogies that go through it, it's like the Tin Man with the heart, you know, the the, the with the brain, like the lion, courage, right. and all this all this different stuff is just like it really, like from not really looking into it, you're like, it's all right, it's cool, yeah. like 
tornado in Kansas, whatever. <laughs> right. But but once you really look into it really deep, you're like, oh man, this is like crazy and like analogies and stuff. Yeah. It's, it really makes you think, for sure. So is a wizard a good guy or a bad guy, in your opinion? I think he has to be the bad guy, man. Bad guy? He has yeah. to be. Yeah, yeah I, I think he, he wants to be the good guy, but it's one of those... It's it's another analogy, man. <laughs> it is. All the all the stuff that you do, that you, like, you you have to be... You have to be the bad guy to be the good guy. Right. Sometimes, then, sometimes not. It's all the like time. the man behind the curtain, which right. has a whole different meaning too. Man, right? It's 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 very yeah. trippy, man. Yeah. It's very it's very like you you'll look at it and you're like, mm, yeah, I guess. Yeah. But like once you really start, like really looking into it, you're like, I get it. Yeah. And really there's people it. that listen to it in silence, and then they put like an album to. It. I forget. Like it's like some old school seventies. I remember. Spark, the, I remember. Yeah. And they, they watch it and it like goes in sync mm -hmm. with that. I haven't tried that. Like yeah. it's like some old school like seventies rock. I Easy. seen it, yeah, but I I, I didn't really. Yeah. Maybe you should try. I've it. never really done it yet, yeah. <laughs> and also the reason why I love the Wizard of Oz is because it's my mom's favorite movie. Okay, so that's cool. When we were younger, she would make us watch. Well, not make us like yeah. you gotta watch it, <laughs> right. but like she would put it on and we're like watching it. Yeah. And while we were younger, we we're like, what is this? Like black and white movie. You don't appreciate it, right? No. And it's probably like it's shot in an old school way yeah. too. So if you grew up, you're not used to that kind yeah. of cinematography, and, right? Yeah. Like, and then yeah. also it goes, it starts off black and white. Yeah. I didn't, I don't like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. So, that's cool. and then, and then it ends with like super saturated, mm -hmm. like all the, like the red slippers, like super red. Yeah. And then in the beginning it's black and white. It's, it's very, very interesting. Yeah. So going back to blood and blow out, if you watch it now, do you think it holds up? Yeah, or you think absolutely. It still every time, every time yeah. I watch it, it's like it's been forever since I watched. Man, it. Yeah. I uh, I watched it when I was younger, and I was just like, "This is crazy." And yeah. then now, now watching it, I'm like, uh, "This is basically kind of like my life." Right, right. Yeah. And now it's like a different perspective yeah. because you sort of like grew up maybe doing some of that stuff, and then now it's like yeah. you, you kind of grown out of a lot of that stuff, right? Yeah, too, yeah, right? yeah. I um. Now, when I was younger, I used to always uh, relate a lot to Miklo. Okay. Because um, in in my family, me I have a twin brother. Yeah. Me and my fam, me and my brother were the white kids. Like mm -hmm. my mom's uh, from Guthrie, Oklahoma, super white. Mm -hmm. My dad's from Mexico, super Mexican, like dark, very right. dark. My mom's <laughs> very very white. Yeah. Like two different opposites for sure. So when growing up, they would always always call us like the bolillos. Oh, okay. Like brown on the Brown on the outside, white on the inside. Right. <laughs> so, um, so we always got that. So I was like, man, it's exactly like uh, uh, Miklo. Like yeah. his his dad was white, his mom was Mexican. Everybody would pick on him for for being white, like half white, and that's how we were. We were yeah. always getting picked on. So, um, yeah, when we were younger, I always related a lot to Miklo and trying to prove himself, mm -hmm. and I felt like that's how yeah, I was I trying to it. prove myself. Yeah. And uh, now growing up, rewatching it. I, I really relate to Crucito. Okay. Yeah, okay. the artist. Yeah. Like that's now, funny. now he was the one because it, it's very weird, like how that shot because it gives three different perspectives. Right. It depends on who you follow and how they end up. Right. Right. That's that's yeah. why I love about like these yeah. type of movies. It's like it throws you in a loop because mm -hmm. you like it. It follows all three of them in their different stories on which way they go because of yeah. the 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 stuff that they do, like your uh, consequences. Like right. the consequences of your actions and uh crucito was a uh, artist super um he was in galleries and yeah. stuff trying to and, stay out of trouble yeah and yeah. then he got into drugs and yeah. got into trouble and stuff yeah. happened and he was the black sheep of the family but he was still doing art right and then at the end it kind of ties it all out i don't know if i'm spoiling it <laughs> no but no it, they, they should have watched it yeah, by yeah. now right but it yeah. all ties into like at the end a huge mural of all three of them, yeah, it's awesome. which is which is really dope. I yeah. was like, man, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. Cool. I'm gonna have to rewatch it now that you're telling me all that. Yeah, so, yeah, it's it's yeah. very trippy. It's a new perspective, right? Yeah, so. for sure. So we're running out of time, but before we you know head out, I want to give you an opportunity to plug in a podcast because you're starting a podcast. Oh yeah, right? um, so me, it's uh, me, my brother, and uh, my two best friends. Uh, like I said, I love watching your podcast. I love watching. Shout out to you, my yeah. TS. <laughs> <laughs> all the all the other comedy podcasts like Theo Vaughn, Joe yeah. Rogan, you know, uh, Chris Stefano is another comedian. Okay. And then uh, Bobby Lee and Andrew Santino. 
Um, I was like, man. You, you listen to Flagrant? Yeah. 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 Okay. With um, Andrew Schultz. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I listened to them as well. Cool. Um, and then I was like, man, I really love this. I kind of want to do it. And my whole life has been just do it. Whatever happens, happens. Like, yeah. Be, being comfortable with failing. Shoot your shot. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So uh, my brother came with me or came to me about this. And I was like, let's do it. So we we got all the equipment. It's a lot of money. It is. But <laughs> yeah. uh, we we invested in it and we shot our first episode and it should be up uh, like this Monday. Or I don't know when this is airing. This is going to come out Monday. So, so we're, we're going to be dropping the same day? Same day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So cool. Um, What's the name of it? Where called, can people oh, find it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's called The Unplugged Podcast. It's on YouTube. Uh, TH3. Okay. Unplugged podcast yeah so yeah uh, you can find it on my social medias and all that awesome. stuff i'm gonna be sharing it but it's a it's a comedy podcast i don't want to take us people take us too seriously because we we joke a lot it's basically <laughs> just like uh locker room humor basically it's okay. like we 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 banter back and forth we talk about art uh we talk about comedy because my brother's doing stand-up he Oh, he wants really? to become a comedian. Okay. Man, we're gonna have to invite him on the pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. That's cool. It's it's gonna be trippy because yeah. we look the same. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> that's but funny. um also uh my best friends, they live kind of like this normal life. So it's a cool perspective of like an artist, a comedian, and just like regular people coming together. Yeah. But also uh me and my brother like fight back and forth and they're like a good people to like separate us yeah. but also keep the conversation going okay it's, it's a very interesting dynamic that's cool it sounds awesome i'm yeah, definitely yeah. gonna check it out it's, it's a very yeah. interesting dynamic it's it's not high budget but yeah. <laughs> it gets the job done yeah that's cool so plug in your socials where can people find you and then yeah. is there like a separate social for the podcast already or what yeah yeah so uh it's called the unplugged podcast like i said mm-hmm. th3 unplugged podcast on everything okay and then also like my social media is jose's Jose Scott 13. Yeah. You can find it pretty easily. I'm the only one, Jose Scott. Yeah. It's a very unique name. Definitely. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, all, all the stuff that I do, I post all on social media. Uh, I know a lot of people will post on like Facebook and Instagram. I just post on Instagram. Oh, also on my TikTok too. Okay. So, it's Jose Scott, the same thing. Cool. Yeah. So, everything's the same. Awesome. Well, best of luck with that new adventure. Yeah. I, mean, I, yeah. I always dig that. You know, you're you're sort of gravitating towards new technology. You're yeah. not afraid to try new things. I'm the same way. So yeah. congrats on that. Yeah, for sure. I, I think um like you said earlier, is uh, adapting and I think uh with anybody, right? What whatever field you want to do, whether it's podcast, whether it's DJing, right, whether it's art, whether it's just your day to day life, right? Just uh, learning how to take those risks and being okay with failing and getting back up and doing it over and over again yeah. until it's kind of like the mindset of never quitting. Like, don't ever quit because mm-hmm. eventually it's going to happen. That's cool. All right. And then Herencia happening when? Yeah. Herencia, September 8th. Follow us on Instagram as well. Um, we're we're going to have lowriders, everything, man. Awesome. It's going to be a party for sure. Like, cool. if you ever wanted to, to figure out what a, a Latino party is going to be, definitely come. Come on out. Yeah. yeah. We're going to treat you like family. You for guys sure. are invited to the carne asada. Carne asada, yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. There you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, the super talented Jose Scott on the Maverick Podcast. Keep grinding because in dreams, we trust.